All right, it is another high school football Friday as the teams get ready to do the battle under the lights. Let's go to Howard County where there could be a big celebration tonight for a longtime head coach. WMAR 2 News, Sean Stepner with more tonight from Clarksville. It's a personal milestone River Hill head football coach Brian Van Dusen says is all about his team. On one on one, ready? Okay, it's not for me, it's you know, it's for the for the program. And kind of looking back, it just, you know, it, it kind of makes me think of all the great players and the great coaches we've had in the program over the years to, to be at this point. Nice job. River Hills next victory will mark the 200th of Van Dusen's career. The thing I'm most proud about is just the consistency year after year. We've we had a stretch of I think 10 years in a row we won 10 or more games and and, and I'm kind of proud of that. You know, it's you look at it, you look back, it was kind of easy to get to the top. The tough thing is staying at the top. Now in his 22nd season coaching, all with the Hawks, the 47-year-old is 199 and 49. In those two plus decades, River Hill has four state championships, five state title game appearances, and eight regional crowns. His players say along with his success in adding to the school's trophy case, he's just as good at developing young men for life. He's always been a guy for like the underdogs always helped out with anybody who needs help. He's always encouraged the team to be the best people that they can. I think that's the best quality a leader can have. For me to be part of the team, to have his 200th win would just mean a lot. Just, I think it would mean a lot to him too, that his coaching is just that superior. To earn win number 200 for Van Dusen, the three and one Hawks have to travel to Reservoir. The Gators are 0 and three, but two of their losses have been by a single point. Very talented team. You know, they've just come up short, um, so we're going to have to play our best game. All right. Kickoff tonight is at 7 p.m. In Clarksville, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News.